Well guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is going to be the first episode of my new series I'm going to be calling the construction. Basically, I've just obviously come off uh, two, well, three shows this season. This is where we've been starting my off season. I've just been going through a recovery phase right now. So it's coming toward the end of my recovery phase. I've been in this for about seven weeks now, coming up for eight. Feel really good, felt really good through the whole uh, process. Gradually bumped my weight up to 280 pounds, which I'm feeling quite comfortable with. And it's going to give me a lot of room to work with through the off season. So today we're going to be running through our basic leg workout, which I've made up myself. Uh, I'm currently working, just kind of doing my own thing at the moment. Uh, I've wrote up my own plans. So we're going to be putting you through, well, taking you through my leg session just now. So hope you guys enjoy and we will catch up and wrap up with this event. Basically, we're just going through a little warm-ups just now, just obviously prime ourselves for our main sets. Usually on my leg day, I'll do possibly two auxiliary exercises first. Obviously, they're not going to be warm-ups, they're going to be actual my main sets. So I like to also start with adductors just to really get that inner leg warmed up, just to make sure when I go into my big heavy squats and leg press movements that I'm not going to pull on them. They're very warm, they're very stretched, and they're very ready. So after that, I'll be going over to the hamstring curl. I'll be our second one. But it's kind of going to be the same set. We'll do one working heavy set. The second set is going to be an intensifier set, so it could be rest pauses, could be drop sets, which you'll see in the video. And then we'll just get into the heavy stuff, like our hacks and the leg press and all the good juicy stuff. Right, this. Second one really sucks. Right, 20 second rest, yeah? Yep. 20 seconds. Yep. <clears throat> Nice. Hey. Come on. All day. Hey. And again. Hey. 
One more. Come on. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Good. That's it. The issue with getting bigger, you'd have to fit in the machine. Berries. What do you see? If you know, you know. intense leg days like we were doing. When you do stuff like this, you know how important and crucial these sets are in your leg day. So you really want to make sure they're smooth, you're warmed up perfectly. So when we go through like plate after plate after plate warm up, we might just do one, two, three reps. We're just feeling the weight. As long as it feels good and we know we can progress to the next set, just keep that going. But it's just crucial to have this stuff done to perfection. When you're moving up to like almost moving 300 kilos for reps, it's just something you don't want to get wrong. So making sure that your knees are good, your foot position's good, the movement feels spot on is absolutely crucial to having a good set.
biggest challenge of the day is getting up. I don't. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think I can run as a bath. <laughs> Can't remember last time I ran. <laughs> I used to be in the British squad for running. I was a sprinter. I used to be able to do the 100 metres in like 11 seconds. Did you? Aye. I know. Do you know what? I actually we didn't because of the risk of injury. I'd, I'd probably pull a hamstring. It's like honestly, you see the amount of people who do bodybuilding, they go and do something like that on like a day off and they pull their muscle, it's yeah. just inevitable because they're so tight up from doing stuff like this, they don't have the stretch mobility yeah. for speed. So when it comes to doing something quick reaction, I'll just tear it. They, they'll, they'll change from power to from speed. In another episode, yeah. <laughs> I'll be like that episode where uh, Kevin Levroni faced uh, Dwayne Chambers on 100 meter. <laughs> Three, two, one, yep, mine. This is his first set. I have to do another one build up after this, and I'll probably do my set. Yeah, we do we do one heavy, and then we do an absolute widowmaker set on this thing where you strip the plates off. As like you're not allowed to let off, so that's what we call it, the widowmaker set. Trust me, we'll be on the ground for about ten minutes after that set. <laughs> this is set on. It's pretty much like has us on the floor being sick every yeah. time. Yours. Nice. Let's go. Control that bottom man. Through the quads. There. Good. Let's go now. Drive. Back. Again. Go. Let's go. Right, one more, what you made of, let's go! With me! Yeah. Yes! Holy shit! Yeah, one more. The control you need in the quads, like to hold this weight and move it nicely is just next level compared to that. That one you can move really freely, this one's much more control. But this one's also where I feel my back on, so. There. Ooh. Ah. Yep. Walk it. Good. Stay. Let's go. Ah. Again. One more. Good. Whoa. Whoa. 
Last ones. Let's go. Easy. What you got? Good. Three, two, one, yep! Boom! Mine. Oosh! 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 Boom! Boom! Good, mine. Boom! Good, let's go! Get me a diet coke. <laughs> See, like a fucking oxygen breather in. Well, thank fuck that's over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> this is a little bit hard, but the next one after that's like pretty easy. It's just holding squeezes on leg extension, but this is like a volume set, so, well, two volume sets. Just, it just really fucking burns you out. <laughs> Next exercise for me, a lot of people like to do leg extensions quite heavy. To do them heavy at this point in the session, I just won't feel it. My legs are absolutely fried from doing all the heavy moves. So if I try and lift heavy, the connection's just not gonna be there. For me, leg extensions are really bringing about the detail in your legs, like trying to really concentrate on the movement and holding, and squeezing, really bringing those deep cuts to feathering. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do first. It's really just uh, really bringing that fine detail towards the end of the section. I'm not going to try and ramp out the stack and just fling the movement. I'm going to try to control it and squeeze and really work the muscle as much as I can just to finish it off. And that's that. So you see all the heavy moves, that's going to bring about the muscle tissue. And this is just really just to bring about the fine, fine detail in my legs. And that's just my opinion on things. You all right, Shil? <laughs>
Good. So you'll see on these, what I'm trying to do is more so control than just trying to use power. When I see people using power in this machine, it's literally just coming straight from the teardrop of the muscle and it's just like a quick rebound and a ping. They're just throwing the weight up. If you watch us, we're controlling the weight down, making sure we're getting straight contact from all the way from the knee up to our hip insertions. When we squeeze, we're trying to lock out the hip insertions to bring out that detail. So, like I said previously, this is not about the weight for me, it's really about feeling the weight as much as possible. So, the more weight I can do that with, the better. I'm not going to overemphasize using power and try to put up the weight more and more. I'm going to try to use as much muscle as I can to move that weight. And that's why I feel is going to breathe about the most detail in my leg. You'll notice each set we do is a little bit different. Just trying to work the muscle a little bit differently. So our first one is really trying to hold like a heavier weight for squeezing. This one's a much more continuous rep for a bit of a higher rep range. Boom. 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 Just really get the blood pumped into the muscle. And the last one's a drop set just to fuck you up in this literally. Just to finish off. Good. Well, let's get it. Come on, quickly. Straight in. Right, let's go. Up. Knock him out. Easy. Come on, my big legs. There's honestly no better feeling than just finishing that last set on leg day, honestly. Especially when it all went to plan and every rep was good, there were no pains, hit some PBs. Just a good session, there's no better feeling. <sighs> so guys, as you see, we're pretty much fucked after that session, so I'll keep this quite brief. But that's pretty much the intensity we like to, well, I need to train legs at. I've always trained this way. Obviously my styles and methods have changed throughout the year, but the intensity has always stayed. I've always been like this. It's just a lot of training. I can't go into something and not give 100%, but I hope today, like, you kind of seen the level I kind of go to in my sets, like the preparation, intensity, the mindset, just everything from where my feet are to where my knees are positioned, everything. That crucially is how I want to make the most out of my sets and like getting the most muscle growth because that's how I feel the weight the, weight the best. Um, 
But yeah, so we're going to have much more. I'm going to be trying to get these videos out once a month, like I said. Um, going through all the different workouts and then hopefully we're going to get some day in the lives, uh, full day of eating, all that kind of stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this session and uh, yeah, we'll be back for some more. Thanks you guys. My fucking quad is pumped. <laughs>